My name is Albert Dyer. I, I fly airplanes and I fly this Benson gyroplane. I've been flying gyroplanes for about six years now. What I like about flying a gyroplane is it's like sitting in a lawn chair with no obstructions in front of you and uh, the, the openness of it all, not having an enclosure around you versus an airplane. It's a simple concept. We have a, a pusher, an engine that pushes you down the runway and uh, rotor blades that spin like a helicopter, but unlike a helicopter, it's free spinning. So as you move forward, the blades spin faster and faster until there's enough lift to lift everybody in the air. So this gyroplane flies at about 70 miles an hour and will land at zero miles an hour. This was made before helicopters were ever thought of. And the, the big difference was with a helicopter we still have right, left, forward, and back sticks. But with a helicopter the engine turns the rotor blades and that allows a helicopter to hover and a gyroplane can't hover. It's always going to come down like the maple seed in auto rotation. Um, we've all seen the maple seeds and when they fall, uh, they just spin down. They don't come crashing down and they gently land on the ground. Um, there's also the toy propeller on a stick that has been around over 100 years that when you spin the stick, it puts energy into the propeller blade and it climbs so high and then at some point the rotor blades reverse itself as it gently falls back down to the ground just like the maple seed. And that is the concept of the auto gyro. Even if the engine is off, all we do is point the nose down, the blades will always spin and we'll always be able to land. Amelia Earhart flew a gyroplane and she actually set a altitude record with it. Uh, in the 30s, she went over 14,000 feet in an auto gyro. In our country, as free as it is, less than 1% of the population flies an airplane, knows how to fly an airplane, an auto gyro, a helicopter, some type of aircraft, less than 1%. And that makes those that choose to fly uh, a pretty rare commodity. So I think it's, uh, it's something pretty special to say you're a pilot in whatever it is you decide to fly.